This is the 30 by 36 inch platform that I built for my chairlift. Standard 2 by 4 construction on the bottom with a half inch of plywood on top. Uh, the hardest part were these wings on each side. I had to guess at them. Um, I would place the platform into the rails, elevate the platform so that it was level, and then take measurements, try to determine what angle and how long these wings needed to be. It took me three tries to get it right. Um, I tested this several times and after a few times I realized I needed to make this a little bit sturdier hence the metal bracing that you see here and there and on other parts of the platform I also added this metal bracing on the wing to act as a guide when it was going up and down the rail uh, to prevent it from going too far to the left and right as we come along here you can see some more bracing uh, here's how I attach the winch cable drilled holes through my 2x4, placed the eye bolt through it. Had to open the eye bolt to get, uh, a little wider to get the cable through. I wrapped the cable on itself and then I used the carabiner to prevent the cable from going too far to the left when the cable was in motion. Some additional bracing here on, on the other wing here at the front of the platform and at the back of the platform. Initially I had small wheels at the front and back but they, the small wheels weren't strong enough to carry the weight so I had larger wheels here. Um, I also added this 3 by one piece of wood here for additional bracing. Um, I used pocket holes to attach these 2 by 4s but if you design this differently then you wouldn't have to do that. Um, I had a Craig jig at home so that's, that's why I did it but you could, you could do it differently. Uh, this worked pretty well for my 225 pound brother-in-law. If you had to lift someone a little heavier, you may have to design this differently, but uh, I was very happy with it. So if you have any suggestions or comments or questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. Thank you.